The summer harvest season is getting shorter, but there is still time to take advantage of summer fruits. In today's recipe box, we're going vegan with our good friend, Vegan Vicky. She's showing us her recipe for summer berry crisp. Hello, lady. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? Doing wonderful, doing wonderful. Let's get to it. Let me, what you got for yes, us today? Let's do it. Okay. So this is a easy, breezy, simple summer, end of summer type of recipe. And the best thing about it is that the berries that you're going to use are full of antioxidants. They're full of fiber. So you got a nutritious dish here. Plus you uh, are eating healthy too. So we've got uh, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. But the thing about this too is you can actually use fresh or frozen fruit, which will be easy too. So what we're adding uh, is in our pan, we're putting our blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. We're adding some orange juice, just a little orange juice because that citrus brings out the flavor of the berries. And we're gonna use a raw cane sugar just to keep it vegan. Now listen, if you have any type of, if you have diabetes or you wanna cut out your sugar, you can substitute this with a maple syrup or a agave nectar which is again, low on the glycemic index, so it won't raise your blood sugar. And we're adding a little cornstarch to this because we want it to thicken up in the oven. So we're just gonna mix that together. It'll look a little, you know, crumbly, but I guarantee you the juices from the fruit and uh, from the berries and from the sugar will caramelize and make that really juicy. Now, the best part of this particular dish is the topping. Whoa. I love a good strudel topping. Okay. Strudel topping. So this is what we're using. We're using actual um, the quick oats. You can use the old fashioned oats, but the quick oats are better. You're going to add the oats, brown sugar, which is going to caramelize that, and some flour. Okay. You're going to mix that together. Mm. But then you're also going to mix. You can actually use country crop or any type of uh, margarine that doesn't have any dairy in it, and you're just going to put that in. And how we make that streusel, we're just gonna take a, a fork and you're just gonna mix that together so it'll form little crumbles on the top, mm -hmm. okay? And while you're doing this, you wanna preheat your oven to like 350. Okay. So that'll be done. And we got another fly out here, but that does not go into, there's no protein. Okay. So it doesn't go into this dish, okay? So we're just gonna mix that together <laughs> and you wanna form crumbles. In this and while we're mixing this let me tell you a little bit more about the berries you have your antioxidants but in the blueberries that can actually uh boost your immune system so i know with all the covid mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everything going around and flu yeah. season coming up you can eat uh put blueberries into your daily regimen and that will actually boost your immune system okay okay so and then your raspberries have a lot of antioxidants in it too and it also helps with uh, gut health. Yeah. So, and your blueberries, like I said, that has a lot of vitamin C, so you can actually have those. So now, while we're mixing this together. Okay. We okay. got to wrap though. You have to, do you have the finished product or that we can take a look I, at? You know I got the finished product for you. Let me see what the it looks like. The finished product is here. I dipped a little oh, bit out, don't say shucks. anything. Yeah. But after that, you've got the crumbly topping. Yes. And you've got the juicy berries in the middle. Yeah. That All give right. it a great, great flavor and okay. a great sweet taste. All right, Vegan Vicky, we got to run, but thank you very much. By the way, that recipe on our website, fox8.com. Yes. Thank you very much.